today I'm taking three types of Lego threads, measuring them and classifying them. Why? Well, why not? Let's get started. Firstly, what even is a thread? The technical definition is a helical or conical spiral formed around the surface of a shaft or the internal surface of a cylindrical hole. Think of a screw. Threads are measured and determined in a few different ways. For imperial threads, one common way to measure them is by the TPI, or threads per inch. For measuring metric threads, a common method is by the pitch, or the distance from crest to crest. Since LEGO parts are based around the metric system, that's what we're going to use. First starting off with these worm gears. Now I don't know about you, but these look exactly like threads, and technically they're already being used as them. My friend engineer discovered that these worm gears thread perfectly into a stack of these life preservers, effectively making a bolt and nut. It's actually a good fit, and it can even be torqued down. But what is the classification of this thread? To find out, I'm going to use this thread pitch gauge. Fitting each size up to the teeth, the closest one that fits is 3 millimeters. But if you look closely, it doesn't actually fit. This means I'll need to find a way to measure an odd size pitch. One good way is by using a caliper. By lining up the tip to the center of the crest as closely as possible, and measuring to the next crest center, we can read the measurement that comes out, which turns out to be around 2.76 millimeters, roughly. There's one more thing that metric threads go by, and that's the major diameter, or the outer diameter of the thread. To measure this, I'm also going to use a caliper. In reading the output, the major diameter is around 9.74 millimeters. So the metric thread classification for these worm gears is M9.74 by 276. Definitely not a standard thread. Now there's one more thing that varies between different types of threads. That's the form, or the shape, of the thread's teeth. Looking very closely, the shape of these on the worm gear can be seen, and I think it matches the Acme thread form the closest, with slightly angled flanks, or sides, and a flat spot on the crest. So next up are these much larger worm gears, with a really aggressive pitch for their size. These worms already have a few parts that thread onto them, this 2x2 brick, this 2x6 plate, and an elevator piece that I haven't been able to get yet. Because the pitch is so aggressive, I'm actually going to use these other parts to measure the threads. So measuring from the center of these notches, which, when threaded on, fit perfectly in between the teeth, we get a reading of around 8 millimeters. Measuring the major diameter, we get 11.5 millimeters, which makes this thread an M11.5 by 8. Wait, 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 that's not right. See, this thread is a little bit different. For one, it's a multi-start thread, which is what gives it such an aggressive lead, or the distance the screw travels for one revolution. To find this lead, we simply need to take the pitch, in this case 8 millimeters, and multiply it by the number of starts. You can see this by looking at the end of the thread. There's four starts on this thread. That gives this thread a lead of 32 millimeters, or four Lego studs. Meaning for one rotation of this thread, the entire part will move 32 millimeters. So going off this new information, the correct classification of this thread is M11.5 by 8-4. And looking at the notches on the 2x6 plate, I'm not entirely sure what thread form this would be. I couldn't find one that looked anywhere close to the ones on this plate, but I think the one that it looks closest to would be the Acme thread form. By the way, I am the least qualified person to be doing this, so I may get a few of these things wrong. This next one uses parts that most people probably don't even know exist. In the 1980s, LEGO produced these two axles, a 10 long and a 4 long, that had actual threads on them. Along with these, they also made nuts that screw onto the axles. These parts remain the only LEGO parts used in sets as actual threads. Breaking out the pitch gauge, we can see the pitch of this axle is 1mm. Using the calipers, the major diameter is 4.32 millimeters, which actually makes these axles around 0.36 millimeters smaller than a standard LEGO axle. This makes the thread classification for these axles M4.32 by 1. Also, looking really, really close, we can see the thread form, and this time I think it matches the metric thread form the most. 
So we successfully measured and classified three different types of Lego threads. And now hopefully you know how to do exactly the same thing. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and consider subscribing. Also check out my Discord server and consider joining my channel memberships for extra perks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.